Hi guys, um, Steve Woods here. In this video we're just going to go through creating a simple console application to uh, retrieve our external IP address from a, a web service. Um, so without further ado, let's just jump into the uh, the code. So we're in Visual Studio, new project. We want uh, C Sharp uh, console application. Uh, we'll just call it IP uh, IP freely. That'll do. Um, so there we are. We've got the uh, the main sort of uh, the main program class um, ready to go with the uh, the main method ready to receive some of our code. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to separate it off into uh, we're going to separate the logic off into into uh, um, its own method. So uh, the the whole purpose of this application is just to output the uh, the IP address to the console. So what we'll do is console dot write line and we this is going to be the name of our function we'll just call it get external ip address which obviously doesn't exist at the moment um so what we'll do is we'll just generate that function uh generate a method there it is not implemented um and because for the purposes of this demo um if i run this at the moment it will uh, it'll just the window will flash up. Well, it won't at the moment. It'll actually throw a not implemented exception. But if we, when we finally added the code in, if we don't request some input, then the window will just flash up and disappear. The, the application will end. So what we'll do is we'll wait for an enter key. Console dot read line. Um, that'll just tell the application to where uh, to wait for input after after it's done its uh, display of our results. So if I uh, if I run that now, just a quick uh, quick build. Should get a not implemented exception. There we go. So it's actually reached there. Um, so we're all good. So we'll just we shall stop that. Let's close that off. Stop. Right. Okay. Um, right. So we need to add the the meat of the application into this uh, function. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the web client object, um, which is part of the system.net namespace. So let's just type this code: web client client equals uh, new web client and we'll get a dependency error so what we need to do is we just need to resolve that by selecting system.net it adds the reference and we now have a, a web client object we're getting the uh, the get external IP address is thrown an error at the moment because we're not uh, we're not returning a, an IP address value or, or any value of any string value yet um, which is what we're about to do now. So what we need to do is we need to put this in a try catch uh, block, just in case the web service can't be reached. Uh, catch exception e, and if the exception occurs, we just basically need to tell the uh, tell the user that we couldn't communicate with the server. Can't type um, your IP could not be resolved because, and then we'll. We'll just show the uh, the results of the exception. So in here, it's basically dead simple. Um, we just get the client object, client dot download string, return client dot download string. Now we need the name of the web service that we're going to use, which is uh, what is my IP dot com slash text. That's all there is to it, really. Um, we we know that that uh, that service exists. Um, what it does is it just it just returns the the string value of our IP address. We'll then return it to the uh, to the main function call, and uh, it'll be output to the console. So if we run this now, we should just see. Uh, in fact, we'll just put a little a little message in front of that to just say your IP address is. So if I run that now. It should say your IP address is 86, whatever, whatever, whatever. Could not be resolved because the remote server returned an error. Forbidden. That is because I have uh, used the wrong web service. But it has illustrated that we've that we've reached the uh, exception part because um, whatever for whatever reason that uh, web client could not uh, could not return our IP address. So I, I guess that's good for the purposes of the, of the demo. So we'll just close the application down. Um, we're going to change the URL to, uh, I think it's, what f is my I, uh, IP? I think that's what it is. Um, yeah, that's correct. So let's run that. And this time we should get an IP address through, if I've got the URL correct. Uh, no, I haven't. 
what is going on there? That is the broadband router URL. Maybe the internet's off. But you'll see that this is actually still outputted. Oh, I've missed it off. That, that's actually a DNS error from my router. So it's actually doing as it's supposed to, um, but it's not returning from this page, which is uh, annoying. It's actually... That's the URL. So it'll work this time. And we should get an IP address. Bang. There we go. Got there in the end. But that's really, yeah, uh, that's all there is to it, to be honest. Um, if you... What you could do is, if you want a little bit of redundancy, you could set a flag at the top to say you found it, whether or not you found an IP address. And if that's false, then you could do um, one or more e um, additional try catch loops on different web services. Um, and when you find the IP address in the uh, the try block, you could set the flag to yes, I have found an IP address, and then skip and just re return the IP address at the end of the method. But for the per for the simple demo purposes, I mean, this application should suffice. So I hope that helps. Hope you enjoyed uh, the video and witnessing my complete cock ups. But uh, that's sometimes how it goes when you're coding, and uh, I hope this helps. All right, thank you.